LAPD has a new policy defining when they can get into a cruiser and chase a suspect. The new rules are designed to protect the public, the suspect, and the officer. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid shows us how things have changed. IMPD and its union spent most of the last decade debating a new police vehicle pursuit policy, which quietly went into effect August 1st. Sometimes police chases end badly, with a wanted person speeding away and driving erratically and officers in pursuit. Sometimes a member of the public becomes the unintended accident victim of the chase. IMPD has long had protocols requiring officers to back off or seek a supervisor's approval before continuing a pursuit, but the new policy was written with the public's safety in mind. We have to weigh the need to um, hold people accountable for the crimes they commit. We have to uh, make sure that when we do our job that we're doing it in a safe manner that doesn't endanger the people we serve. And then we have to make sure that the decisions we make don't cost us our lives as officers. IMPD General Order 4.12, adopted without fanfare August 1st, restricts the types of crimes officers can launch a chase for. Uh, the new policy completely prohibits the uh, vehicle pursuits when the only charge is uh, an infraction. So, uh, a you know, speeding, running a stop sign, running a red light, those type of things. The, the act of fleeing is not necessarily the reason you can chase somebody. There are still 10 misdemeanor exceptions that permit officers to initiate a pursuit, even if they didn't see the crime, including domestic battery, injury, and gun crimes. These things are very dangerous. We can control how we drive. We can't control how the other people drive. For the past three months, the new policy has been in the training phase. Now officers are practicing it out on the streets. In downtown Indianapolis, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. And Assistant Chief Bailey said IMPD will now start keeping stats on traffic stops and how many drivers speed off. And that will help determine if the new policy is working.